Hello, my name is Jeannie and I will be speaking on behalf of the Red Queen how to disable a ghost drive for Dell computers for the ones who may be using Dell computers. Depending on your Dell computer and OS, sometimes when you have power outages you get an extra drive. Some may think of this ghost drive as a glitch also known as bug and is short-lived. The term derives from the German glitzy, meaning slippery. I will now show you how to disable it as I would like to add that you don't need an extra drive if there isn't one within your system. This is for the disk drive on slash or floppy disk. The icon shows up when you go into your my computer but you don't have a floppy disk. Yes and know that it's a glitch, because for one they'll have placed it there by default, so no it's not. But yes, for the fact that it showed up when by default disabled. Step by step 1. Reboot the system and as the Dell logo shows up, keep pressing the F2 key and you will be taken to a gray screen. Sorry that I really can't show you what the screen looks like, but you can test it out so you know. Now, you are going to look for the drive configuration and press the Enter key as a small pop-up window will be in view, reading this get drive on the size of it. Very important, do not touch the other drives or you become owned. You will know that you are there when you see this and the others reading primary master drive and this you do want. Highlight only this get drive and press the key and not the plus key. This is next to your backspace and F11 keys. But this will bring up a little window for you to do this. Now, press the S and another little window will show up for you and you want to save your changes and exit then press the Enter key and the system will now reboot. Once that you are loading up to your desktop, go to the Start menu and into your My Computer and see if it's still there. If you did this right, then you will no longer see it anymore. Just follow along with me through the right way. This will not stop it from showing up again. So, if that happens, then follow the steps again.